You guys have been requesting a shoe episode for the longest time. So today we're here at Suntech City, Charles and Keith to teach you how to work your shoes to your advantage. One effect I think all girls want to achieve is slimmer legs because um, we are not all skinny models like Drea. So you'll be surprised how far shoes can go to hide your flaws and make your legs look slimmer. I mean, I always feel as though if you are like wearing a dress and you have like bigger like thighs or calves and you wear flats, you just kind of look compressed. So I'm going to show you what kind of shoes you can pick to make your legs look slimmer. So if you want to be creating the illusion of slimmer legs, you definitely want to be looking at heels because like I mentioned before, flats kind of like compress your legs. They're not very flattering and heels make your legs look longer, they make your legs look slimmer, they just do wonderful, wonderful things for your legs and your posture and your walking in general. So it's not just about getting heels, it's about the type of heels you're choosing for your leg type. You definitely want to be looking at wedges or, you know, chunky heels because what it does is it distributes the weight evenly so like, you know, your thighs and your calves look slimmer because your wedges look chunky. As opposed to this. Don't think you get heels and you get kitten heels and then like it's counted because it's not, okay? Like kitten heels don't even make sense. I just think that if you want to wear heels, you go big or you go home. You don't just like cheat halfway and wear just half as a damn heels. The thing about kitten heels is because the height isn't that much, it's not that different from you wearing flats. And it's a stiletto heel, so your legs look huge in comparison to this tiny little stock. It doesn't distribute the weight evenly like what happens with the wedges here. So stay away from kitten heels. I know what you girls are going to say, crazy, I wear heels all the time, so uncomfortable. But firstly, let me just say this, if you want to be hiao, you just have to suffer for it. But when looking for a pair of heels, there are things you can look out for to help alleviate the pain. Take a look at this shoe for example. Okay, this is great for two reasons. Firstly, there's a platform here, so you get the height without your heel being crazy high. And it's slightly more comfortable, especially if you're thinking of wearing it for like the whole day. And secondly, let's look at the position of the heel. Uh. Position is very important because this heel is aligned with your heel bone. So it's more comfortable, you get a more like centered balance and you're less likely to fall down and break your face and ankle. And I know all the designers out there like are always saying that the heel like you know right at the edge of your shoe is very high fashion. But what's the point of being high fashion if you can walk for 10 minutes then you have to sit down for the rest of the day. So remember to look for heels that come in and don't like just protrude out from the edge. Another thing that's very important for comfort is gel cushions. I mean all of you have cushions right, you know what they do, they make everything more comfortable. So you want to be putting the gel cushions here where the ball of your feet will like land when you walk. Usually when you walk in heels, the pressure is always at the balls of your feet and that's why you put the cushion there because you walk like this. These gel cushions are really common, you can get them almost anywhere. They even sell them in like the supermarket or like most of the shoe shops. There are many kinds of shoes that exist. There's flats, there's pumps, there's boots, there's sandals. But just like clothes, there are some shoes that flatter us and some that don't. But one thing that everybody wants is long legs. Like, even I want long legs. Hello, can someone give me Miranda Kerr legs, please? There's a general rule when it comes to making your legs look longer. Shoes that cut below the ankle makes your leg look longer, whereas shoes that cut above the ankle makes your leg look shorter. Okay, so as you can see here, this shoe cuts below the ankle, and this shoe cuts above the ankle. And you can see there's an obvious difference. My right leg actually looks longer than my left leg. If you want longer legs, you should wear strappy heels instead of boots. I'm not saying that boots are bad, just that you know boots generally create a separation between your legs and your feet, creating this illusion that your feet's kind of like chopped off and you know makes the legs look shorter at the same time. So as you can see, my legs look a bit longer with the strappy heels, and this looks a bit more stumpy, a bit shorter. But then again, booties are like for different styles. So you don't have to wear um, heels all the time. If you have a more uh, vintage rocker look, you can actually go with boots. Another trick that you can make full use of if you want to make your legs look longer is to wear pointed toe heels instead of round toe heels. As you can see on my right leg, I'm wearing a pointed heel and it gives my leg that continuity and that streamlined feel because, you know, the pointed toe actually extends beyond my big toe. So it makes my feet look a bit longer. Whereas if I'm wearing a round toe heel, it's kind of like squarish and it just ends off at the big toe so it doesn't give my feet that illusion of length. Believe it or not, colour actually plays a big factor when it comes to making your legs look longer. Try to choose shoes that have a neutral colour or nude shade because it blends in with your legs a bit more and reduces the separation between the skin and the shoe. Take a look at my legs for instance. I'm wearing a nude shoe on my left and a black shoe on my right. The nude shoe actually makes my leg look longer because it blends in with my skin, whereas the black one creates a separation between the skin and the shoe. At the end of the day, the ultimate shoe to have to making your legs look longer is to have a pair of new pointed toe pumps. This shoe packs a punch. It summarises all the points that I've made earlier. It cuts below the ankle and has no straps, 
creating a very streamlined illusion and this pointed toe, making your feet look longer because it extends beyond your toe and this nude colour and matches my skin tone, creating the illusion of length. Let me show you what I mean by giving you a few comparisons. We've come to the end of the episode and we hope you've learned how to pick the perfect shoe. When it comes to heels, my personal mantra is the higher the heel, the better I feel. How about yours? Buy everything. Preach it, sister. Let us know what you want to see in the upcoming episodes by leaving a comment in our comment box below or liking us on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash that so See you next time. Bye!